Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am back for my initial thoughts on the kind of second lump of news that we've received on Path of Exile 2 as of the 8th uh, of April here, or it's actually the 9th for me. Now it's been a long time since we've actually got any information about Path of Exile 2 and today right before the ultimatum announcement uh, we did get a lot of news about Path of Exile 2. Most specifically, uh, some interesting things with uh, new skill interactions, the new gem system a little bit more, and some base types of weapons that interact in really interesting ways. Now, right before I uh, do a little bit of a deep dive here, if you want to follow along with all the videos I'm releasing today and tomorrow over the next couple of days for the 3.14 announcement, there is a link down below to the playlist itself. You can go and click on that and watch the whole thing. And if you do enjoy this kind of content, remember, hit that subscribe button. We just actually passed 30,000 subs, and I'm aiming for, in a year's time, to hit 100,000. Now, I know that's a big goal, but I'm aiming for it, and we'll see if we can hit that. So if you want to help me hit 100,000 subs in a year's time, click that button. Now, let's jump into it. So, we did receive a full second trailer for Path of Exile 2. Now, this is exploring the second act, which is in the Vastiri Desert. Uh, and using lots of uh, interesting mechanics there. We've seen a lot of really cool lighting things. Uh, and as I talk about all of this, I'm actually gonna put the uh, the gameplay walkthrough uh, just on in the background here, muted, uh, and we can all see that all happening, all right? Uh, that doesn't look like it's wanting to go full screen there, so let's just keep that one there. So in Path of Exile 2, as we know, we're going to be getting some really interesting changes to how skill gems work themselves, right? So we see down here, uh, obviously skill gems are changing to the links being in the gems themselves. Now we've also known, I'm going to start with the two new kind of item base uh, or, or weapon base types that we're getting in this uh, new Path of Exile 2 expansion or, or new game almost, which as the first one you can see here is spears and the second one is crossbows. We're getting both spears and crossbows. Now you can see the gameplay here, and as they're talking uh, here, Chris is talking about how the spear is used in a way where you kind of engage on the enemy, do a few attacks, and then disengage for some extra buffs to engage again. So it's very much a dash in, dash out type of playstyle, or I guess that's one playstyle that you can do in uh, this spear playstyle itself, which is really, really, really interesting. You can see here the dashing in, dashing out is a really, really cool mechanic. Uh, and you can also see some interesting things happening with obviously the uh, design of the areas themselves looking a lot better than anything we see in the uh, Path of Exile uh, that we know and love today uh, and showcasing a few different skills here. Now if I jump forward I should be able to find the crossbow play uh, as well here and you can see these crossbows here. Now crossbows themselves uh, are again a new base type uh, of weapon and they actually have each crossbow has its own kind of implicit skill in the crossbow itself. So this one here is kind of like a single shot. I'm just trying to see if I can find where it actually showcases uh, that thing itself right here. So we can see it grants level one power shot. So that's what we're seeing there with the power shot is just like a single shot. Uh, you can see it come out of, uh, you know, right here. And you can augment that with your skill gems, with your support gems and everything like that. And then you can also equip different bolts, kind of like, you know, how you would uh, equip different auras or something like that, but you can have like one bolt at a time. You can switch between them as much as you would like. So the gameplay is pretty much finding a crossbow with the right kind of base type that you want, either for a power shot, or you can see a little bit further. Uh, we can go onto a shot that's kind of, you know, more like your Arrow Nova that you see in the support gem, but it's kind of like a, a Siege Ballista, uh, slamming down onto the ground here, and you can choose lots of different bolts here. Right now we've got like a piercing bolt, uh, there's also an ice bolt and a fire bolt as well, but right now it's just the piercing bolt that's being used for the big boss damage and a little bit of bleed as well. So we can see right there that Path of Exile is really looking at changing the game up in uh, how we do interact with skills and how the items interact with that as well. So you can probably assume that other base items for weapons are going to be uh, hopefully receiving some sort of uh, extra addition like this, where maybe you've got a really cool uh, base sword type that's gonna give uh, all of your melee abilities a kind of more concentrated effect 
uh, in in a line or you know uh, a more kind of AOE type. That's just speculation. I have no idea, but I'd hope for not only these new base types like the crossbow and the spear to have uh, additions like this, that uh, other things do as well. Now, as you keep watching here, you can see uh, a lot of interesting things. The HUD itself uh, down below is obviously uh, quite updated. Uh, and you may be able to see as you keep watching there, there is dynamic lighting happening on the HUD itself, on the orbs and everything like that. You can see the lighting change as you actually move through everything, uh, which is really, really, really awesome. Now, that is pretty much all that we really did get in the Path of Exile 2 update. I'm just gonna, uh, well, as I keep uh, kind of ending the video here, chat, did I miss anything? Because uh, we are recording this live. Did I miss anything on the updates of Path of Exile 2? Obviously, this is uh, right here. Oh, yeah, you can see right here. This is uh, the Path of Exile 2 uh, Act 2 Town, which is actually a moving caravan. And you can also uh, choose, I think there was four different options of what direction you want to take Act 2 in. So kind of, you can think of it like, you know, choosing what band that you want to do first, but a lot more content first. So kind of each, like, the four sections of Act 2, you can decide when to do them first. That's the whole mechanic of this moving caravan. You move to where you want to go next, uh, which does actually say uh, to us there's going to be four pretty distinct sections of Act 2, which is pretty, pretty cool. All right. Uh, now, um, uh, that's pretty much all I really have to say here. Thank you so much for watching. I would like you to comment down below in what you think, uh, is coming in Path of Exile 2, or what you would hope for in Path of Exile 2 the most. Let me know in the comments below. I'll read them, I'll try and respond to as many as we can. But, you know, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Uh, love you all, and, uh, until next time, Badger, out.